Well, I was kind of it was kind of uh, surprising of that. Now they have the Bruce Lee in there. Yeah. <laughs> and he got his, he got his butt kicked. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, and as far as with all the CGI that they did to make him so realistic, did you feel that was very realistic, the Bruce Lee character? I think they put him... It was him, a satire of Bruce Lee. I feel like the, at least the main, the biggest scene that he was in, I feel like was put in for comedic purposes. Yeah. Because he was doing really like a war release. cry the whole time. Like, Whoa! 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 It was it was really funny. But yeah. Well I mean I mean if you if you really technically because I listened to the guy talking and I was like, my goodness, he does sound like Bruce Lee if you go to the old interviews of Bruce Lee yeah. and uh he kinda does. I mean I we can pull some of those up. Okay, so I, don't know. I watched a lot of Bruce Lee when I was younger and I didn't get the well, you didn't watch all the interviews, though. That he That's did. also true. I did not. Because, so I did uh, not be he, aware of the yeah, right. connection. Because he, he was dubbed in all his films except for one. So he was you dubbed? Have to, like dubbed over? Yeah. Yes, except for one. He was dubbed in all his films because people didn't feel like they would be able to understand him. And, and really? like I was... Yes. And so, That's if kind the, of racist. yeah, well, it is in some uh, uh, ways. It is uh, in other ways. You know, you gotta understand too. It's like you guys ever get a phone call from a debt collector who can't barely speak English. <laughs> my mom She's like, "Hi, my Karen. name is Amir from India. How may I misunderstand you today?" Exactly, and and, and you get that. And it's so strange because we talk about this because like. Um, you know, we're doing, I do a lot of, uh, you know, getting into the outsourcing with the Philippines. And I was, I'm very blessed to be able to uh, outsource, you know, because, you know, with these movie reviews, we'll be outsourcing out to the Philippines. And, and I don't know what it is, why their English is so much uh, better, even though India, you know, they're doing really well as a country, but it's just, they just have a hard time getting the English and you know my friend is you know like so my friend is Chinese right and he outsources out in Taiwan and Hong Kong and he complains about the Indian people all the time and it's like I can't understand them and I'm like <laughs> and and of course my friend's got real th thick Chinese accent so it's like uh, he'll go in there and he'll say Riri and he'll say uh, what's another thing every L is R you know and I crack up every once in a while about that but but he he's like with me it's like you know with outsourcing it's it is tough to uh do that translation i felt with him nowadays it's more common in california is because that's where you get your your chinese population came over to california and so now it's just regular you know it's like that's the reason why because you got people with thicker accents but you're in the 60s it was a little bit harder you know it's like <laughs> to understand a lot of that yeah, all right so so bruce lee you guys uh wanted some of you guys kind of didn't buy that you didn't think it was as realistic as the uh, as him being real life or i i didn't think much of it mm -hmm. i honestly didn't recognize it as bruce lee until about halfway through the scene with brad pitt kicking his butt i also didn't <laughs> realize it was supposed to be bruce lee yeah really yeah I didn't as well as well, the, the the connection, of course, is that Bruce Lee's manager uh, died with Sharon Tate. And that's the reason why I always thought that was the reason they would put him in there, because the manager, Bruce Lee, died with Sharon Tate in the Manson family murders. And, and of course, are we getting into that yet? Or Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> 